Edit this in, Alexander, man. This is this part is nice. You edit this in, Sandals. Edit this in, Alexander Sandals. Sandals. Is your part. Hey, um, Fonzo, edit this part in. <laughs> Fucking, he could take all our money. Oh, school's out. Recess. Recess. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, go ahead. Um, pretty much like I've been saying before, nearly. Chef, <laughs> <laughs> so you said it before. But do you need to say it again? I said love is a beautiful. Okay. You ready? Man, I was born motherfucking ready. What's up, jungle peeps? We jungle beats. And we're back in here doing another unknown artist review of an album by Junior James Fuller. Fuller. Now this young man emailed us. He didn't want to become a patron. He's like, hey guys, can I just invest, do it, review my album? That's what we did. So that's an option for you guys. Do you want to know something about the young junior James Fulham? Can I guess what it is before you tell me? Absolutely. He has a fascination with rodents and he has a lot of pet rats, mice, gerbils, and he just, he just fucking loves them. Almost. <laughs> this close. Shit. He's from the UK. He's got a new hip hop album uh, titled Forwards. He says it's a blend of hip hop, R&B, influenced by classic artists of the genres such as A Tribe Called Quest, A Dr. Dre, A Lupe Fiasco, Stevie Wonder, and Marvin Gaye. So it sounds like we're gonna get a more sort of '90s approach to this, or like late '90s. So not quite rodents, but almost mid '90s. Actually. So he emailed us. He sent us uh, an investment over PayPal, and we were gonna review his album just like we do our Patreon. Now, I might not put this in. This is in the description of the album. Just give a bit of background. We don't have to put this in, but you might okay, like okay. it for us. The places I've been near and far, all the people I've met, good, not so good, the jobs that I've done, places that I've worked for, all the things I've done during the process of making and completing this project, I'm very thankful. For it is with all these experiences, memories, and living that drive me to move forwards in life. It is with the feeling of being around great people and traversing to different places more often near than far every day that I get the inspiration to create things, in this case, musics and songs. I hope whatever it is you do, whether big or small, unknowingly or knowingly, your humanity can impact someone positively. Here is to humanity. I hope you can enjoy in some capacity my music. This project is especially for those who have hopes, goals, dreams, aspirations, and are determined to get where they want to be and are striving to take charge of their destiny. We must be thankful we have the choice to and freedom to do so. Thank you for supporting me in this project. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Alexander Sandars, aka Sand. Hi, uh, my name is a horse with no name. Ooh, Game of Thrones? No, kind of a play a on song. that, like a man with no name? It's a song. Oh. Is this Will Smith? Let me make sure it's not on 1.25 speed. Now nah, we good. Wait, is this off YouTube? Oh. <laughs> so there's no track spacing. So it's one whole thing. That, but he sent me the track list. No features. I can do it. I think it'll switch up because this song is called Just As Long As It Rhymes. But it might just be 50 minutes of this. I like the beat. Yeah, and then like a little harmony in the background. That? What is that? What do you call that? Um, I just call it background vocals. Background vocals? Yeah. I assume it's still the same song. Definitely the next track. Junior James Fuller. First track. Very repetitive hymn, kind of constantly just repeating 
that kind of zoned me out. But the background vocals are my favorite and the highlight for me. Mm. It takes you back. You don't hear something like this too often. I see what he means by this is definitely a tribal quest inspired right here. Okay. Uh, that beats definitely something that you'd hear if uh, like uh, maybe Incredible Travels or maybe something a bit further on from there. But yeah, the whole like dun, 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 super tribe. And like I said, the backing vocals are really nice. Um, that's kind of like the only thing I really like though. I mean, I, I'm not sure if I'm liking your vocals because you do, I feel like a lot of the time you aren't really on the beat, if that makes sense. Like, I need to hear more. To yeah, I reckon, I reckon let's, let's just listen to a bit more and see if we can evade a bit more from it. But so far, I'm liking the production. Feel good. I don't hear the hip hop. We said R&B as well. I hear the influence, but it's not prominent to me. This feels like a different genre. Like German? German? It's like a German festival. I haven't attended any German festivals recently. <laughs> you fuck it up, bro. Have you? No. <laughs> no. There is the Schleifen Skuschen Bleisen. Which is happening on October Stuben, the 31st. Not bad. What? You wanna go one? Well? <laughs> you were fucking in another dimension, bro. Oh, you entered the fucking third dimension. Was How was it? I wasn't here, bro. <laughs> Where'd you go? I can't remember, man. Fuck. Pull me out of it. It makes you feel good. <laughs> no. Is that an accordion? Yeah, it is, but. Oh, it's a French festival. French now. <laughs> I need croissants for everybody. <laughs> a croissant for you, a croissant for you, and a cigarette for the baby. That's so funny. That's pretty funny. The production is like... It's not funky. It's, it's like... It's like cool for like the 80s and 90s. Like I feel like this would have been cool back a That's decade right. ago. It kind of felt like I was at like a family gathering. Mm. It was kind of like, it's a summer day, it's 35 degrees, all your family's there, but it's like all your older family. So everyone's dancing and having a barbecue or whatnot, and you're just sitting there just watching and being like, I'm too old for this shit. Hmm. Maybe you're too young for this shit. Maybe. I know, that's, just, that's what the track sort of gave me a vibe to. Be it like either a, a small gathering or a festival or something like that, just everyone's dancing. Everyone's having a good time. As we say, it makes you feel good. So it just seems like it's just like a, a track that you just dance to and get lost in and enjoy yourself. But um, that's what I feel. I feel like there's an air of optimism and positivity throughout the sound mm. and the of his voice and production. I just wanted to mention that, James. I feel that. But um, once again, still not really feeling the vocals. It didn't really feel like the singing was all that good, but... I don't know. And the production, once again, as much as I'm getting those feelings for it, I'm not really enjoying it. So I didn't, I didn't really enjoy that track at all. That's super nice. A bit more psychedelic. I wonder how old this guy is. How old are you, James? Let us know. What is that? It's a guitar. Really? Oh wait. Could be a keyboard. It's, it sounds like a string instrument. It sounds too fast to be. Or a key? Yeah, keyboard? It's keys. It's keys. Like okay. it's just the way that it was like da da then like that's not something you can. It's, I'd say it's keys. Yeah, this is an album you just put on in the background, man. Like you could have this on in your house just for background music. You wouldn't put it on your house, would you? I mean, How dare there's you? Lot, there's a lot of other better background music you play. How dare you, Alexander, man? Mm. What are you doing with your mouth, though? I don't fucking know. I always do shit with my mouth. I, I know. Use? Retarded. I can't help it. I'm always buying You can't like help it. You definitely, you're not a robot. Like you can help it. You weren't programmed. Man, carve my arm, it's robotic. Remember that moment? When she fucking opened up. Oh, fuck, I forgot her name. In Westworld, Dolores. Yeah. Dolores got stabbed. She fucking opened her up, and all yeah. the robotics. That was dope. Fuck. Powerful. <sighs> See, b before you go, that was actually my favorite track. Believe that was it my or favorite not. track too. Oh, there you go. I thought that um, 
instrumentally, it was the one that I sort of resonated with the most because it had more of a jazz feel to it. Mm. I love those live instrumentations. I thought the singing on here was better than the last track. I still don't necessarily think it was amazing, but it was enough where I, I was a bit more interested. And this one definitely had, once again, a very background feel. So like, like you're at a party still, or if you're just, you know, you're like, you're sort of chatting with friends and it's sort of in the background and just make, it just, it just makes you feel good. It just seems like that's the theme for this album. Just really feel good music. To move you forward, which is yeah. the message you want to deliver. I think your vocal delivery on that was the best. It was the most engaging, dynamic, and it helped pull me into the music a bit more. It was a bit more, a bit more funky and yeah. vibey. Yeah, definitely a little more funky. Like, da, na, 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 na. right. I just had that, and that had pulled you in to it. as a listener. So even though I'm not fucking with everything overall, everything that you've said that this album's going to be, you've kind of made it exactly, exactly that. So you're doing well with keeping that. Well, when will they realize? Track four. Dragon, imagine if humans laid eggs. And then we hatch, and we hatch as like fucking spinal. We have tails, and the tails drop off at a certain stage. Let me think about this. What is that, a sax? Trumpet? Trumpet's good, sir. A trump. Oh, this seems more inspired by jazz and give me another genre you feel it's inspired by. Hip hop. With the witty's vocal delivery. Jazz, jazz pop, jazz hip hop. This guy's really is in with every bar. You just gotta pay attention. I don't actually really understand. I'm trying to. And he's not really on beat all the time. Kind of raps like this and then a little of the place and talking off for the day. I don't think he cares. I think that's just kind of his style. Nah, he cares. How, how do you know he cares? You can tell. You can tell he I cares. Listen to this. This is his production. This is the, this is the production. Oh, I'm not saying he doesn't care about music. I'm talking about his style of delivery. No, he cares, man. He just isn't that good. Well, he produced this as well, by the way. For real? Yeah. He had man, someone. Man, just sick to producing. No, you tell him that. You don't have to do this, bro. What do you mean? Man, he can still hear me perfectly. That's true. <laughs> what wow. I enjoy quite a bit, the highlight is the production, the jazz influence, and the merging with hip hop. That's it's pretty, like right now. The trumpet, the instrumentation. It's just the delivery, James, is just what I can't get past. It's not for me. And I don't know any many people who, who would, you know, really enjoy this. I'm sure yeah. maybe you do, but it's a, it's a specific type of listener. I think I could, I've probably got a few friends maybe that are more old school heads that might yeah. appreciate this. But at the same time, like, so I, I, just, I just found out that, that you produce uh, presumably this whole album. So I really think that's where your talents are lying the best and where you're most talented in. I feel like that if you had friends or if you had contacts, then... Getting features on this track would be a lot better than your vocals. Not that your vocals are bad, I just feel like they're just not good enough to make this production shine. Right. Like, imagine having like a real nice female vocalist on here, or maybe a, a rapper that can stay on beat a lot easier, or be a bit more clearer or crisper. I do I do pick up with you maybe some Del the Funky Homo Sapiens sort of vibes, and still with those Quest vibes, so it's still good to hear your the, the your inspiration through what you're doing, but I just don't, don't, don't think you do it as well as the production sound. So it's really hard to take this music completely seriously in that regard. I think you, you summarized that well. I think that's our, our track review for this one. And it's still going. still going. I thought, honestly, I would have had to pause it. What's that noise? Have you heard the, the, like the, it's like a guitar, like, so like, like, like an Indian guitar, like a, like a Bollywood one, like the... Track five, Help Lord. DJ Callan Jay Z Jeff Another one You know Bad Boys 3 is confirmed Will Smith confirms it in a yeah, video he confirms it fucking every Nah, fucking nah, year. nah This, this is legit Did you hear about James Smith and Tyler the Creator? Yeah, I saw that video We'll talk about, we'll talk about that later Alright This is more important His, his uh, articulation isn't that good 
I agree. I, sh I wanted to mention the last track. You kind of alluded to it before. Like, in order for him to stay on beat as best as he can, he has to sacrifice his articulation. He does happen to get on beat a lot of the time, but then he's, he has to like end his lines a bit quicker or change his vocals slower a bit more. Like, right. it affects. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like there. And there. This is, I feel like this is definitely one of those albums where it's listening to three tracks kind of lets you know exactly what the whole album's going to be like. It's cohesive. Yeah, it's very cohesive. It just doesn't mean it's good. To, to us. And probably many other people. I just don't think this is many people's style. In this day and age. Yo, James, I just got to say real quick. I think a lot of people would have fucked with this 10 to 30 years ago because they would have enjoyed it more. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is... That's its time. This would have been more enjoyable probably late 80s, early to mid 90s. And that's fine going back to that time and trying yeah. to revisit it. You're going to get a lot of people who are going, oh yeah, I haven't heard this type of sound in a while. So if you've made this album not caring too much about the way it's received and more about what it represents for the time and what, what inspires you the most, then I guess that's... Then you did your job, right? Yeah. You did what you had to do. But if you're going with this album expecting a lot, a lot of other people to listen to this and share it and really enjoy it, I think that's the kind of wrong way to go about it because I don't think there's going to be many people out there right now that want to be hearing this type of shit. At least maybe not around our demographic. Maybe some different yeah i mean i grew up with a lot of styles like this i'm a big tribe head like like you but at the same time probably in the past past two to three years i've just gradually sort of gotten over this sort of sound because i've heard it so much that i want to hear new stuff i'm all about i'm all about hearing uniqueness and newer sounds these days or like little little grabs and like of, of sounds that i like with newer sounds but like hearing sounds that i've heard like this so much already in my life it just doesn't interest me enough because i've heard it done better by other people this is the better part of the track yeah it is praise the lord this is nice this is nice edit this in alexander man this isn't this part is nice you edit this in sandals edit this in alexander sandals hey um fonzo edit this part in <laughs> fucking he could take all our money yeah, but how would Fonzo just be like, because he's good at making good intros, he'd be like, fuck man, they gave me nothing on this bitch to make good. Karma. We will get karmaized for this. <laughs> nah, I like this. It is good. This is hard to look at your face seriously after the last one. It's a fucking Yoda. <laughs> 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 of course I am. Yes, I do. I have a lightsaber and I eat food. But you know what? He sound he sounded like multiple different types of people yeah, here. Yeah. It's the it's the most diverse we've seen. Yeah. I thought Yoda. I thought Cookie Monster. Ah, oh, that's hilarious, isn't it? We still almost maybe they're, maybe they're the same actors. What? Maybe Cookie Monster is the same voice actor. Oh, it's Yoda. I don't know about that. I feel like we should look it up. Oh, it's not, it's Jamie, pull that up. A bit of a, like a, a, a kind of like Bollywood, but something else too. It's very Oriental. It's more Asian. Oriental. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I really like the beat on that one. Yeah, as you said, more Oriental vibe. Very Wu Tang like. Like Wu Tang's beats were founded upon beats like this. This is what the RZA, because uh, he's usually inspired by Oriental stuff. That's why he made like the the movie The Man with the Iron Fist. So he's all about that history. And a lot of Wu-Tang share those similarities, so super Wu-Tang this is. And to touch on your vocals that we both noticed a bit more dynamicness in the tonality of your, your rapping. Still, once again, throughout this whole album, it's hard to hear what you're saying. You articulate yourself, it's like it, it's a layer underneath the beat. So mm. that's the problem I have, but I did like the dynamicness of your vocal performance. Yeah, I thought that you taking a more gravelly approach to it and also, yeah, changing your tones, like Sandy just said. It was nice to see that diversity, but once again, yeah, your articulation, staying on beat, uh, and also being a bit softer than a lot of the sound. So for me, the production, pretty much every track is what shines for me. Good timing, sir. I'm a clock, tick tock. Make your bitch, Nick, knock. knock. Ooh. 
Shit! Drop it. Oh. <laughs> that was an outro? Okay. All right. It dropped hard! That could have been a great intro to a track, right? See, a vocal feature would sound so much better. This man just needs features. I don't think he's doing a bad job right here. He's gonna ask for his money back, bro. <laughs> we would ask for our time back then. <laughs> that fucking gold! <laughs> sounds like something you'd see in a movie. Like, you know movies with singing? That's what it sounds like. Or like a, like a Broadway spectacle. I was thinking... A lot, this reminds me, James, of something like a black and white film. Maybe a... Something animated or something like through an alleyway, you know, a girl is getting lost. I'm doing the shit you do usually now. Painting the picture. It's got... And now we're at the... Now we're at the Broadway. Now we're at the show. That's what I think. That's what I get. I get real Broadway. So everyone's, everyone's on stage. Everyone's wearing really different, different bright costumes or whatever. And there's like just all this singing going on and dancing. It's I didn't a, start like this though, right? Different type of vibe for me. I don't know. I got, I got, oh, maybe. But I get really, like I said, right now I'm getting super Broadway feels. Like, like I'm watching like an on-stage thing right now. Right. You know, it's good, man. It's good to listen to new music like this. You know, I don't, I rarely, I don't do listen to shit like this. Imagine if I just took that turn. That's good. Next track? I don't know if that's the next track, but I feel like these tracks are a bit too long for my liking. Oh, that track was so long. The harmonica to end with, I assume it was a harmonica, was a nice upbeat tempo, and I feel like that fits congruently with your message. Yeah. I don't know if that was Stevie Wonder inspired. Oh, but... yeah, I wasn't trying to finish the sentence. Okay. <laughs> yes, you were, very God. Stevie Wonder? I think I don't think it's a bit Stevie Wonder inspiration. You know, he said that was one of his in inspirations. Did he? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I can't. I yeah, think Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye. Oh, I didn't get Marvin Gaye feels, but this track I got massive, big Stevie Wonder feels. Right. Yeah. Cool. Bro, what about my sentence? Ha <laughs> 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 ha. I have a lot of things to say on that track. Did you actually? Yeah. It's probably my least enjoyable track. I didn't really enjoy it. Oh, okay. Damn, son. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Where'd it go? It might have been an outro. It's hard to tell, man. Now it's just bad again. Did you hear what he's saying? It's a nursery rhyme. Rolling, 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 rolling. Oh. Gently down Finally the street. Finally something. Merrily, 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 yeah, I, merrily. I heard the rest Life of Life is such a dream. That's what he's singing, bro. Oh. This track's too messy, James. It's, it's too all over the place. I, I kind of envision what this track is because of that. Because normally, like, I'm envisioning something. Here, I'm just envisioning pain. <laughs> like, make it stop. It's oh dark, God. bro. Make it go away. It's dark. You know what else is dark? You know what? This couch. Dick. Good dick ain't dark now. See, it's light as Especially the darkest part of my body. Same with me. My dick's the darkest part of my body. Do you know why? Because blood rushes do it so often, you're always wanking that bitch off. Not for me. Tell us more. Um, like I said, too chaotic and messy for me. Didn't resonate with the sound or the delivery. I'm good to go to the next track. Yeah, probably my least favorite track once right here. I just resonate with you with what you said. Okay, cool. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, go ahead. Um, pretty much like I've been saying before, nearly every- <laughs> <laughs> So if you said it before, but do you need to say it again? Yes. I'm just saying. Keep it a habit of hoop it up. Features would have- School's out! Recess! Recess!
you reckon that's what this track's about? He said... School. School's out. And then break it down into parts. It's something that replaces everything at some point. True, my dick will replace everything. It's not golden. My dick's the fucking all-powerful, living fucking... Homonuclus of a being. Anyway, uh, 30-something. That track... Was it's something. just more of the same for me. I, I, I'm not getting anything fresh there. It wasn't really engaging me. I zoned out. I'm not mm. trying to be disrespectful. None of us are. It's just a byproduct of how we're feeling about the music. Yeah. I thought it was a good follow-up in terms of production because it still kept a slight Stevie Wonder feel to it. But once again, your vocals didn't really do much for me here. As you can tell, like I'm just not really very engaged right now. Uh, and that's what I'm going to keep saying. I just think features is what would bring this album alive. I just don't think your voice is powerful enough or trained enough to do this production justice. This is production is where you shine. That's how I see things. Last track. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a really good little toss you did there. I wonder who he's talking about. Her. Talking about a woman. Could be a guy. It's a girl. Like, I don't know what... This has been an eye-opening experience. Yeah, we've had some good chats. Oh, okay. J J Junior James full of forwards. You know, I feel like that was a more lighter, positive way to end that album. I'm so happy I found you, where, whoever you're talking about. It's just kind of sincere way to finish. But that is an album. Um, I think the smartest thing you went about this album is the way that you described it. It kind of kept to what you talked about. All of your inspirations that you noted, and you're talking about being uplifting and feel good, it kept to all of those. So everything you said is exactly what it is. But the execution, I think wasn't really that good and mm -hmm. I don't see myself listening to this or people that I know of listen to this. This is from a time that doesn't exist now. That's not bad. It's Plenty not... of people enjoy that. Oh yeah, there will be people out there that will enjoy this. It's just not me. And I personally feel like that you should, if you are to continue down this lane, I think you do need to improve on your singing, improve on your rapping because I just don't think it's that good. And if you and if you don't, and I, I, I just feel like features are the way for you to go, man. Try it out. See take how like, it goes. Take like the bad, bad, not good approach. Like have some instrumental tracks because it feels like instrumentally these tracks is where they shine. Mm. Sometimes when your vocals come on here, it takes away from a lot of what the track's already giving to you. That's a good point. So I feel like maybe taking like half just straight beats and half features. I think that's a really good way to go about things because I don't know, man. I'm just I didn't really enjoy a lot of this album. The production's where I enjoyed it. I think you've... Um... Alexander Mann here has echoed my thoughts, so I'm not going to add too much more. Besides, don't take it personally. This is just, we don't typically in, uh, listen to this flavor of music. Um, the delivery was the full coming for me. The production was the highlight for me. I think your production, your producing skills, flesh that out. Um, that could be, you could see maybe a professional or a serious career there, potentially. Other than that. Yeah. Um... Thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Appreciate the support. I think maybe if I had to give some advice, maybe with the way that you've laid these productions with your with your inspirations, maybe try adding a bit more you to it. I mean, maybe there's already that here, but I think maybe if you grab either some new school element or something completely wild that no one's really doing and adding it to what you've done here already, you might give it that little bit of uniqueness to make it different. And a bit of people, life. Yeah, and draw people like yeah. me and more newer fans yeah. in. Because I feel like that's what you got to do in this today's and age. So you can still keep the sounds that you love, but just add something to it to make it more engaging for a, a larger populace. But that's my only advice I'm going to give you, man. You keep doing you. This isn't bad at all. This is this is fine. It's just not for me. We're Jungle Beats. If you want to see us review your music and shit on it, you can email us at junglebeatsmedia at gmail.com. Yeah, thank you very much, man. I appreciate you reaching out. And hell yeah. I mean, it's always good going outside of our box and doing shit like this. It just, it just sucks when we don't give it the, the love that you might want from it. All right, we jungle beats.